Kirby with HTC here. here. We got a uh, HTC Handy Generation 2 here with some data on it from uh, Match. Okay, it's got different, different berms with different, like say a troop line, if you're going to shoot a troop line. All right, so let's go for, uh, I'm going to put it on. Actually, this is my preferred way to put it on. It's going to be on my support hand, not super tight. Get it adjusted, and I'm actually going to roll it. I'm going to roll it over a little bit to this side. As I said in my earlier video, I would probably trim this down after I decide which length it is and, and tighten up the bungee. So what we have here is basically a, a cleared rifle, and we're going to go through. I'll show you how we shoot our troop lines. This is a PR prs style barricade either troop line or different berms in a prs or nrl style match so coming behind the rifle i'm actually gonna so my first one is uh, kilo one berm and that's gonna be 1.4 mil so i'm gonna orientate where i'm at good got it i'm actually gonna come up 1.4 and my wind call is gonna be 0.1 to 0.3 so Simulating that, I'm gonna go with a .2 hold. And what do you know? Impact, next one is gonna be uh, Lima 3 firm and 2.1 mils. So I'm gonna dial to 2.1. My wind call is gonna be .2 to .4. I'll split that in half. That will be a .3. So find my berm, hold a .3 hold, and another impact. So I don't have to break contact with my rifle. I got the next one is going to be Bravo 2, 4.8 mils, 4.8. I'm going to dial up to 4.8. Right there, wind call is going to be 0.4 to 0.6. So I'll split the difference, go to 0.5. I'm going to hold to the right side and impact one more time. So next one's going to be Victor 8. Victor 8, 8.2 mils. Coming over here, 8.2. Wind calls will be. I'm going to go with a 0.7 based on what we did, 0.7, and another impact. So basically this is how we would run this in a stage or at a, at a match. So that kind of gives you a little bit of insight of how we do it. Now you could also, you could also hard mount this to your chassis if you wanted to, or put it on your shooting hand side, your trigger hand side, and if you run the, the dials or the turrets with that side. Uh, it's up to you. It's pretty, it's pretty versatile, and you could run it on the inside of your forearm if you want to. So these are some things that we do, or kind of the most common preferred ways that, that these are used. I'd also like to point out that this is American-made. It's made by Texans in Texas. So we're very proud of that, and uh, come check us out. We'll, we'll get you set up. Thanks again. It's Kirby with HDC Gear.